Sometimes in life we think, oh, it's just going to happen. We just let it go. No, you've got to stand up, you've got to show up, you've got to follow up to be successful in business and life. My next point is to stand up, right? To me, that is credibility. Your reputation means everything. Max, Natalie, Bryson, Hunter, never do anything in your personal or professional life that is going to cause people to doubt your integrity as an individual. In this world of social media, everything's exacerbated. Everything's accentuated, right? If you do something, it's going to be found out on social media, right? And even when you haven't done something purposeful, your reputation can be damaged much more rapidly than it could be before. Think of all the tweets that go out there that has absolutely destroyed executives' lives, right? And so think about the impact and the import of your reputation. Quick story about uh, that. John Huntsman Sr., the father of John Huntsman Jr., our former governor, um, John Huntsman Sr. Um, is just a great man and was the founder and the driver of Huntsman Chemical Corporation. Huntsman Chemical Corporation at one point was the world's largest privately held chemical company. John ran that, did an absolutely fantastic job. At one point in his progress in that company, he was looking at spinning out one of the divisions of the company. And that division was doing, I don't know, 20 million in revenue or something like that. And he met with the company and there was a buyer for that division. And they shook hands. What's your name, by the way? Kevin. Kevin? Nice to meet you, Kevin. What's your story? Uh, business major, entrepreneur, family. Good. OK. And you love your Mac. Good. And so shook hands just like that with the gentleman and said, $53 million. That's the deal. OK, so the buyer was going to buy this division for $53 million. But between initial handshake and signing of contracts, something happens called due diligence. And a series of lawyers get involved, and papers are exchanged, and uh, mutual non-disclosures, and so forth. And so between the signing of the initial contract, letter of intent, if you will, and the actual closing of the deal, sometimes can take as many as six to nine months. right? And a lot of times, things can happen in the interim that can have a major impact on that contract. Well, in this case, something happened that really inured to the benefit of the buyer of this business. Huntsman's division really took off. Sales doubled over this six-month period, et cetera, et cetera. The company became, the division that he was selling, actually became worth something more like $250 million. Now, most people, and it was built into the contract, would be able to go back and say, OK, things have changed. The basis upon which we did our deal six months ago have changed. We need to get back together, renegotiate that price. I still want to get the deal done, et cetera. And I'm sure the buyer in this case fully expected that to take place. Instead, John Huntsman did something really significant. He said, we signed a deal for $53 million. We shook hands on the deal at $53 million. $53 million it is. You've got the company. He closed the transaction. When he had a perfect legal right to go back and renegotiate it. That's a man with integrity. That's a man who established a reputation. In your life, you all want to behave in a powerful way so as to send a message, an aura around you, that you are going to do the right thing in all circumstances. That's what I'm talking about standing up. 